Hello, NoobTubers, and welcome to another episode with me. Alrighty, so we're going to be going over Military Tycoon. A little bit more in depth, and I'm going to try to keep this video under 15 minutes because uh, I filmed this video twice, and it ended up being over 20 minutes all two times. So I need to become better, which is time management. Also, could probably edit myself out more. Anyways, so whenever you join the game, you're immediately going to be presented with this page of countries to choose from. This is not every country in the world, but out of all these countries, 20 of them, well, if you're on a full server, 19 of them will be taken and you'll get to choose. So we're going to go with, let's go with a Nordic country. I recently got my ancestry test back and I have some Finnish in me, so I'm going to go with Finland. Now I mostly have English and Irish and some French, but I'm going to go with Finland. And then you're going to get a login reward, so if you're playing this game for the first time, you're going to get like $1,000. So I'm going to go with that, you know, take it day four. Now, I have been playing this game for quite some time because I'm at max XP, and I also have a lot of money, 33,509,000. Thousand about to have more when I step on this plate. Yeah. So, anyways, you're gonna start out and you're gonna have none of this. None of this will be here. All this, this base, that tower. Um. Now that over there will will be there, but it will be a uh, it will be less developed. But that little um bunker right there will be there, and this won't be here. None of these huts will be here. These are where your workers are. You have more workers. This cute little dog over here. You're not going to have this cute little dog for quite some time. I'm going to go ahead and send him off to guard. I think I'm going to name him, um, I'll name him Steve. That'll be Steve the dog. Okay. But you will have this. You will not be able to rebirth, though. Whenever you're able to rebirth, and I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what rebirthing is, just real quick. That is when you unlock vehicles and stuff, like over here. This tank right here, this anti-air tank. You want, and I accidentally stepped on that. No, no, I don't want to buy that either. Okay, you're going to unlock this at 12 rebirths. And that's whenever you build everything that you can build with your in-game cash. You stepped on all the little green buttons that appear. You, you stepped on all of them, bought everything, and you are able to rebirth. So you're going to rebirth, and you're going to lose all of this again. You're even going to lose all your money. Yeah, pretty harsh. But that doesn't really matter, because in here, you're making a bunch of money. Like, I have over, you know, over $100,000, I think, that I had right there. Yeah, so. And you make money with these workers. These are going to be the first set of workers that you build. And if you do, for 85 Robux, buy the um, Super Soldier, he's just consistently shooting at that, making you money. So you're going to buy these workers. And then after you buy everything down here, including all your weapons over again, which you have some pretty good options, I bought the Scar for 85 Robux, and I bought this right here for 399. I don't, unless you just have a bunch of Robux, you don't really need the anti-air um, RPG, but I really love it. I've shot down multiple planes with it, and it definitely helps you hold your own when you're most vulnerable. And that's when you're on the ground, on your feet, running back to your base. Also join the group um, Infantry Interactive and you'll get a free MP7. I think it's a pretty cool little gun. Has a, you know, it's pretty quick and stuff, pretty small, pretty good fire rate. Only holds 15 shots though. I honestly suggest going with the Chris Vector if you have the option, but hey, it's a free submachine gun, so take it. These will be the second set of workers that you probably build, if, assuming that you build it the second floor on here. And assuming that you don't go out there and build those huts first. Now, whenever you come out here to these huts, I'll just go ahead and explain. You're going to have some green buttons. Don't bother clicking the ones that are way out here. Go in, hop over them if you have to. Click the button that's going to be right here and the one that's going to be right here. And those will immediately build your workers. Don't bother building the actual shelter itself and come in here and do the same thing and go in there and do the exact same thing. So now you have workers. And once you earn some more money, you can afford to finish building these huts. But that's not really important. And once you build some more things outside and inside, 
you will gain access to this bunker, which will be closed off with a button sitting next to it. You're going to want to come down here and build more workers, because as with any tycoon game, you, investing and in making money is the first priority. So then you're going to come build all of these guys right here, and these are more expensive, so you know you may have to buy one or two at a time. And in this room, you can unlock more gear. This monitor right here is fifty thousand dollars. It allows you to upgrade any vehicles that you want to upgrade. And yeah, you will lose all of these upgrades every time you respawn. That's just a fact. You have some cool night, night vision, smoke grenade, flare gun, um, spike trap, C4. Whenever you're... Oh, someone texted me. Okay. Whenever you go to take over an oil rig, which I'll show you in a moment, bring the C4 with you. And then I will suggest, especially if you're new, put this on right here so that you will not drown because water will kill you in here. It doesn't matter if you can still breathe and, or like your head's above it, it will still kill you. It's like acid. But we're gonna come up all the way. Someone is blowing my phone up, okay. I'll check it eventually, but right now you're more important. Okay, we're gonna come in here. You have this nice little um, spec ops, well, special ops outfit. It's all black and that fits in because all the armor that you put on is black. You have the Barrett 50 Cal, that is the most powerful rifle in the game. So if you want to snipe people, I definitely suggest getting it. But we're going to look at some attachments. Well, I'm going to buy this muzzle brake just because I have the money. You can also get a suppressor. But let's look at, okay, let's look at these attachments, okay. This should have all the attachments. You have flashlight, grip, laser, and then sight 1, sight 2, sight 3. And then compensator, muzzle brake, silencer. Silencer is pretty obvious. The compensator allows for more controlled fire. I'm going to assume that the muzzle brake allows it to do more damage, although don't quote me on that. And these sights are just, you know, one's a little bit better than the other. You know, it's pretty obvious. You know, I have a, my scar right here. I have the sight one on it, four grip, and I have a compensator on it. Okay. Now up here, I forget which rebirth you unlock this on, but it's actually very helpful. You're going to have a green button right here, and you're going to have anti-air right here. You can disable it. I don't know why you'd want to disable it. Uh, I guess if you were holding peace talks or something on your base with a non-ally, which we'll get into in a second. You have a helicopter pad up here. You can also turn these red screens off. This is what allows strangers to enter your base. Because if anyone other than someone you're allied with even touches that yellow, they die. It doesn't matter how much of their body goes into it, they die. Over here you have your airfield, you have different planes that you can buy. Wow, this video is already super long, okay. You have the bomber right here. Now just because I didn't know this when I first um, started playing, you're going to hit your F key to bomb. You also hit F to fire missiles. Unless you're in the attack helicopter, then you just click. Alrighty, we're gonna come, actually we're gonna come down here. No, well, over here, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. They have a, they did have an Abrams tank event. Now they just have an egg event. And that is where, this is the tank that you would have gotten if you, now maybe you have the Abrams tank, but this is how I got a tank without having to buy the tank game pass, which is $440. It's pretty pricey just for a tank. I don't suggest going with it. Take advantage of events where you can get cool vehicles. Okay, we're going to come over here. And this is your dock. You actually have, well, that's more like a shipyard over there, I would say. But you have different options. You have a destroyer right there, which is really cool. It has a pilot controlled gun. Pretty powerful. I suggest upgrading it to use. You have an airship, which can go on land. You have a jet ski. You have a speedboat which has a gun in it, so it can hold you and a friend. That is an attack submarine. And then you just have a speedboat. If you just want to speed around on the water, you have a submarine with no weaponry. And then you have a warship. It can hold two people comfortably. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And over here, and by the way, that's going to cost a lot of money to get, and you will have to rebirth to unlock all that stuff, just letting you know. Over here are your buildable items, meaning that you will not lose them once they're built. 
So we're gonna spawn in the B-17, and mine's fully upgraded. But whenever you get yours, it's gonna be a grayish camo color, and it's only gonna have a set of two propellers, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it won't have this cool camo color and stuff, and the guns won't be as powerful. And now you have the dive bomber, which is, as you can see, it is new and permanent. I'm gonna spawn that in, just click on that again. Dive bomber, it's pretty cool. You hit F to bomb, and you're just gonna click to shoot. These guns are, sh they will shoot straight. The other words, whenever you move your courser, the guns will not move with them. Well, will not move with it, so they only fire straight ahead which is a disappointment, to be quite honest. This is an anti-air system right here. This, I suggest building this or the aircraft carrier first. And I'll tell you why in a moment, why I suggest building the aircraft carrier first. So, and then you have the Puma. This is limited permanent, so please guys, do your Easter egg hunt so that you can get it. It is a really cool vehicle, and once you fully upgrade it, it is OP. It's like a, it is like a really, fast tank and by fast i mean the the, the follow-up shots from it are amazing so yeah make sure make sure to upgrade that and you're going to upgrade all these buildable things by sitting in the seat and see i've done all the research for this that i can possibly do even if i scroll all the way down there's really not much more to do and i'll just upgrade it and it will cost a few million dollars we're going to come out here to ships i suggest building the carrier first just because you get access to the war plane which is really, the warplane is the jet that I accidentally spawned over there when I was trying to spawn the tank. It's, it basically, it's basically a fighter jet. I mean, that's exactly what it is. You have the bomber and then you have the warplane right here. The unfortunate thing is though, it does not upgrade whenever you upgrade all your stuff. So the one that you spawn on here, unfortunately, it, it just doesn't upgrade. I don't, I don't know why. And then right here is a game pass, it's a fighter jet, although it's just the A-10 Warthog. You do not have these guns on the aircraft carrier, nor do you have those anti-air guns right up there. Which is unfortunate. You have, you have your helicopters right here, you have your Apache, um, that's an expensive game pass. And then you have some planes over here that you can buy, like your Spitfire. Now those guns do move with your Corsairs you're shooting, which is really cool. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and hop into my Spitfire. Now, to fly a plane, you're just going to hit E, just touch it, and then you're going to use um, ASWD in order to go up and down and stuff. You're going to hit W to go up, and then S to go down, and then you're going to click E again to stop the plane. Like, I'm going to hit E now, and then I'm going to hit the space bar, and now I'm out of my plane. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very blessed rest of your day, and... Yesterday, in case you didn't know, I turned 22, so I've been enjoying some cake and coffee with my recording, which, if I'm burpy in one of my videos, that's probably why. Anyways, need to bout.